Okay, y'all. It is Saturday out here doing some door dashing. And I actually got a add-on order for the same customer for Lexus. So I end up getting her Dr. Pepper at CVS because I guess they don't sell it at the um, Little Caesars. But then I got an add-on for Little Caesars and I'm thinking it's a different customer, right? But then when I go into seeing the addresses and stuff, it's actually the same person, same address. And Little Caesars is actually, ironically, just two stores down. And that add-on was for six dollars. See, now this is the tricky part, though. It says six dollars and fifty cents going an additional zero point nine miles. But then when you go to look at the addresses and stuff, you're actually delivering to the same thing. So I don't know why, you know, DoorDash still be throwing people off with that because like I said you're thinking that you might be delivering to their neighbor down the street because sometimes that actually do happen where you get an add-on order that close and you're actually delivering to a na uh to the next neighborhood over or something like that but then it'd be cases like this where it'd be like 90 percent of the time you're actually delivering to the same person so now i'm about to go pick up their little caesar's pizza i got my oh shoot this is the grub pub bag i need the pizza bag there we go we got the pizza bag right here and i know somebody gonna say well Juan, why don't you got the um dr pepper in the um why don't you got dr pepper in the bag you know the doordash bag oh lord that car came close to mine and the reason why I don't is because it was on the shelf. It wasn't, you know, it would be nice. You know, if the darn going um, thing did come cold, but it didn't in this case, so. That, like they don't want to stop behind you. They see, and, with, and the thing is with me, I turn on my turn signals. Like that, that's the shit that be pissing me the fuck off. Is because it's like I be having my turn signals on, and I and I put it on in a timely manner, and people still be right up on your darn going um lights and plate and whatnot. But anyways, Alexis, let me go ahead and get your order, honey. This is phenomenal. This is a total of, I think I'm going like two miles for both orders. I had to do a double pickup, one for the soda and one for Little Caesars. They both next door to each other. Two miles for $13. It don't get hardly no better than that. I ain't seen that type of, you know, DoorDash in a long time, y'all. But anyways, let me go ahead and pick up this order. If it's still the same, I think I'm going to end up pushing in the code and then, yep. Okay, got their order. Now it's time to put it in the bag, put it in the bag, put it in the pizza bag. So now up the street so they're actually about three miles away but that's still damn good three miles for thirteen dollars that is over four dollars a freaking mile honey like i said it don't get no better than this honey although sometimes it do sometimes you you know seven dollars for one mile i've had those offers too okay now my people we got to do better so i just came all the way back to the Merc, delivering to pimp drive but, and you know I accepted that order too damn fast because I'm thinking it said seven dollars and twenty five cents going five miles, and it was taking me in the direction of home. So y'all know I jumped on that. I said okay, it's still a little bit over a dollar a mile, and it's taking me in the direction of home. So just in case it gets darn going slow, I can actually just zip to the house. 
Honey, how about I'm halfway through? Something just told me to click on it. It's starting on $2.75 for five miles. I said, oh, hell no. Y'all got me for the hokey dope money. Now, I could have canceled because, you know, my um, cancellation rate is very low. So, I think I'm at like a... Let me see. Only, I, I think I've only canceled like 5% of orders. So... And you can cancel up to 20% out of 100. So I can cancel pretty much 20 orders out of 100 and be good. But yeah, I went on ahead and did it anyway. Cause I said, well shit, they might least, you know, with a pizza order, you know, maybe they they are known to least tip yet to try and get shit. That's okay. I'm gonna darn go put that up. I'm gonna put that in my roller deck. The next time I see that order come, it better be for five dollars or greater. Or otherwise I am canceled. But anyways, it looks like that's gonna be it for the day, y'all. Unless I get a notification going on Ramsey, but it done a shift it where it's now trying to take me all the way out to the mall. But it's like, mm, I need to go on here to get my car washed. So we about to go on because, honey, I did not darn gonna cancel. Because if you want to cancel, you got to cancel within seven days of your thing renewing. And I'm at the six day mark. And it's well worth it anyway. Like I said, unlimited car washing throughout the month. And one, and if you was to do an a la carte, it would be, you know, $25 for the service that I get done. So for me to get my car washed up to 10 times, that's like $250 minus $40. That's $210 in savings right there. And then, like I said, vacuuming. That's saving me about a good $20-something a month compared to if I was to go to one of these rinky deep places. And then the thing is, the other places got timers on this shit versus I get unlimited vacuum time over here. I ain't really had to back too much since I done uh, been out of lift the whole week. My darn going sticker done came to put on my darn going uh, tag, right? But it's like, why, why am I still waiting on my registration? My sticker came yesterday. Now, I did this shit like last Friday or Saturday, so I know it's going to be seven to ten business days. But I would think that everything would come at the same time. It's like, what the hell's up with that? So it's like, y'all not going, just going to still have me waiting on my registration. I can't do shit. I can't do no Uber. I can't do Lyft. Thank goodness I can darn going to do point pickup and, you know, Instacart. But see, the thing is, it's so sporadic in my area. Once again, I don't understand. Weirdest thing with groceries. It's like it bumps through the weekday. But it sucks during the weekend. And it's the opposite for fast food. But anyways, let me go on here and get here, y'all. And I'll be back when I'm in the car wash. We're going through the car wash. Y'all, I've been out of the loop with Darn Going DoorDash so long. I be constantly forgetting to turn on my Darn Going Stride app. And it don't even darn gonna remind me until I'm like halfway done with my damn day. But I am back at Papa John's because, honey, they decided to give me an order to make up for darn going Mr. Nettle, honey. That $2.75 going five miles. So instead, I got an order for $6.50 going 2.8 miles. So essentially about the opposite of my last drop off order. So back in the Papa John's I go, y'all. Okay, y'all, finished off the day. $31, two hours, well, an hour and a half. So essentially I made like $20.66 an hour. So pretty damn good. There's a line today, y'all. There's two cars ahead of me. And oh my goodness, I came just in time, y'all. One, two, three, there is four freaking cars behind me. Damn, I came just at the nick of time, honey. If I would've came 
through here a minute later, I would have been waiting behind one, two, three, four, five cars. Everybody wanting to get their car done <laughs> literally at the same time, y'all. There is literally a line all the way behind me. But then again, now that I think about it, this is the first time I've actually came here on a Saturday. So I guess everybody decided to go on here to get their car washed for the weekend. I will show y'all what he's doing to this car in the front. But once again, I ain't wanting to show the license plate. y'all that's why I had to stop for a moment oh, I'm about to say I do got my car in neutral I guess I didn't have it on the because when you come in here you got to push it cert a certain way so it can catch and then you put your car in neutral and then it moves your car for you and then they tell your hands off the steering wheel and all of that. Well, yeah, y'all. That is basically my day in a nutshell. I am missing my damn lift, y'all. Honey, they was wearing my car down, though. But, honey, I actually don't. And who would have known I would have gotten to this point? I went from saying that I would never do lift to now I'm starting to miss it. But honey, I, for whatever reason, they must have knew that my dog on registration was not going to come in time because they did not. Do it. To the vacuuming and then I need to put some air in my tire again oh. Oh, damn. do I got a spot to actually vacuum my car okay there's one spot right here y'all like I said everybody darn going out here today y'all so that is basically it let me go ahead and get my darn going rest of my car clean and call it a day but those are the final results honey i'm enjoying this darn on five star car wash honey got my darn on car looking so fresh and so clean clean okay anyways that is it y'all feel free to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see y'all soon with more videos